I'm doing everything I can to keep this family from falling apart. It's not working. In an era when comic book TV shows like Amazon's The Boys and Marvel's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier subvert genre expectations by addressing topical issues in America, Netflix's adaptation of the Mark Miller and Frank Quitely graphic novel Jupiter's Legacy opts for a more unambiguous approach to its storytelling. While not as illuminating or inventive as those previously mentioned series, Jupiter's Legacy delivers plenty of exciting superhero action, a compelling story, and memorable characters thanks to strong performances from its leading cast. Jupiter's legacy centers on the world's first superheroes and their children who have mostly inherited unique abilities of their own. The season one arc spans nearly a century, bouncing back and forth between Great Depression era America and the present. This storytelling approach keeps the show's momentum going strong throughout its eight episodes, but at times lessens the impact of the events taking place in the present day, especially when it comes to the younger generation of superheroes. The events during the 1930s focus on the origin stories of the founding members of the Union. Sheldon Sampson, aka the Utopian, works alongside his brother Walter, aka Brainwave. Josh Duhamel delivers an impressive performance, effectively transforming his character from the handsome and carefree son of a millionaire into a disheveled shell of himself that no one wants to be around. Sheldon's psychotic break eventually leads him, his brother, and an unlikely band of misfits on a quest that feels very akin to an Indiana Jones-esque adventure, involving strange symbols that need translating, graves that need pillaging, and even a daring captain that needs hiring for a trip across treacherous waters in search of an island no one's ever heard of. The other members of the troop include George Hutchins, aka Sky Fox, Fitz Small, aka The Flare, Grace Kennedy, aka Lady Liberty, slash the future Mrs. Sampson, and Dr. Richard Conrad, aka Blue Bolt. While we get to see Sheldon, Walter, Grace, and Fitz's respective stories develop over the course of several decades, the children of the founding members simply don't get that kind of attention and suffer a bit in development relative to their parents. This story-driven dilemma makes them feel more one-dimensional than they probably ought to be. The Sheldon siblings have predictable storylines and personalities, Brandon is the loyal son who wants nothing more than to please his father and take over the family business, while Chloe is the drug-addled and rebellious daughter who hates everything her family stands for. The most interesting member of the new generation of superheroes slash villains doesn't have superpowers at all. Hutch is the son of Sky Fox, and what he lacks in strength he makes up for in cunning determination and some powerful gadgets. He's a dynamic wild card to watch in season one, since it's difficult to tell which side he'll end up on. In terms of superhero action, Jupiter's legacy doesn't quite reach the theatrical heights of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but it does do an adequate job of capturing the spectacle of demigods trying to tear each other apart. Most of the action takes place in the present day story, with a particular thrilling battle in the premiere that serves as a great showcase for the variety of superpowers these heroes possess, with the help of some solid visual effects. Jupiter's Legacy Season 1 is filled with memorable characters with impressive powers and mysterious locations to explore. Though many of the compelling aspects that make this series work are centered around the founding members of the Union during the 1930s, rather than the kids' adventures in the present day, there will hopefully be time for them to take the spotlight later on. For more in the world of entertainment, be sure to check out our review of the series premiere of Star Wars The Bad Batch and what new anime to watch in spring 2021. And for everything else, you're already in the right place, IGN.